Okay, so here we are outside the uh, virtual reality, the, it's the virtual reality lab. I don't know where development comes in, but the virtual reality lab with uh, Eric Bow, the pilot for uh, 133, and Royce Renfrew. You're the, are you the lead flight director? Lead station flight director. The lead station flight director. Tell me why there's so much action there today. Why is there so much action? Yeah, why is there so much action in there today? Uh, well, Steve Bowen yeah. uh, got assigned to the flight uh, to replace Tim. Mm -hmm. the, what they're running today is the EVA2 timeline, which is pretty much having Steve Bowen on the arm for the majority of the EVA. Yeah. So what we're doing in the VR lab here is practicing all the voice protocols between Mike Barrett and Nicole and, and uh, Steve on the arm, make right. sure we got all that synced up. After we get done with that, we'll go run it in the pool, uh, uh, where we uh, Steve actually gets to put an EMU on, and right. we'll go run that in the pool to make sure okay. it all works correctly. Use this; uh, we can spend a lot more time in here if we need to reset. It's very easy to do. Uh, work out all the kinks in the VR lab, mm -hmm. and then go run it in the pool, so we're yeah. confident we can go run the EVA. So this is a nice thing, you guys, uh, Eric. You've had uh, Steve been on your crew for how long? Uh, about a week or two. A week or two, right? So, so Steve's obviously a very experienced uh, spacewalker, but he just yeah. has to kind of go through. These are very each spacewalk is very specific in the details. A lot yeah. of common tasks, but you know the specifics yeah. are always something that you got to look at. And, and of course, different crew members might look at a problem differently. So Steve, need, you know, has needs to, to look at it and see. And Tim obviously has been helping Steve to, yeah. to make all this happen. So. And we plan on running this EVA, it's Monday today, and then we plan on running this in the pool on Friday yeah. for the first time to give Steve a chance to look at this EVA. This is great we have this lab. I think this is a good example of it because of how important this virtual reality is yep. because here you're trying to get a guy up to speed <coughs> in just a couple days. If you throw him in a pool right away, right. might go okay, but it's going to go a lot better because he can practice, he can see everything he's doing virtual reality-wise the, through the virtual reality helmet. He can move around. You guys can practice your coordination. It's really quite before he goes in the water. Right. And, and that'll be all set for, for that. It's a chance yeah. that you can do it multiple times. Right. And we'll get in here a few more times before we actually go up. Yeah. And so Steve can then go out, practice, you know, kind of go home and look at the task again. Now he has a, yeah. a picture in his mind of what it's supposed yeah. to look like. And then in the pool, he can actually work with the yeah. hardware that's very similar to what it's going to be like on the yeah. and, and before we ever got in here, he spent a lot of time doing tabletop reviews, working with the EVA officers, working right. with Tim. This is the bottom yeah. position I have here, and this is yeah. why. This is what I'm reaching for. So we did a lot of tabletop before yeah. we even got here. This is the next step, and then we yeah. get in the pool and finish it all off. And like, like uh, them said, run it a couple more times before right. we go fly here. Should be and the, the Tim you're referring to is Tim Copra, right. who was supposed. Now this is so he's been he's been able to help out. He's been uh, yeah, been around he's been yeah, helping a lot. Obviously, yeah. and. and and Tim was instrumental in, in making this. Get yeah, this he was EV one, right? Wasn't right, he EV one? Right. Yeah, so it was his, it was baby. So and he's been helping though. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, because I mean that's pretty good team spirit right there. It is. Right. You know, because he's it's not able bad. to go right. at the last minute. Right. And instead of being all bummed, which I'm sure he's disappointed, he's helping out. So this is a big team effort, and it takes a lot of people to get the job done. And yeah. And obviously Tim is disappointed, you know, given the circumstances, but yeah. he's also willing to, you know, get the team going. You know, he yeah. realizes that you know the ultimate goal is to get the job done. Right. And so it's really great having. I mean, that to me is. I'm sure Royce can say the same with his team. Yeah. You know, it's just the, the number of people it takes to make a mission happen, yeah. and the, you know, backing each other up and making things work is really, yeah. you know, top notch. Yeah, his, his got, uh, Tim's contributions here are really going to allow us to launch on the 24th. Right, that's, that's what got right. down. Yeah.